Coventry, headquarters of Soditech UK and Sodic. We're here to review the VL600. Chris. Hi Mark. Why is this different? Well, we're standing in front of the new VL600Q. Uh, Sodic traditionally make high-end, uh, high-spec, high-tech machine tools. Um, this is a little bit different. This is our cost-effective, mid-range, mid-size machine tool. Sodic uh, are, are very conscious that in the machine tool market, uh, not everybody wants super high-end, high-speed, uh, super fine finish, maybe the ability to program using 3D solid models. And so they're very conscious of that, so they've launched this machine to cover that market. Having said that, uh, customers, even though they might be in a mid-range or a low-end market, still want to buy a machine tool from a robust manufacturer, a good supplier with a good reputation, obviously somebody with great service and application support, and that's where they're going to fit this into the market. So really the main features are, it's not, it's not only just cost effective and puts you into a, a, another market, it's also got a meter to actually work with. That's right, yeah. The main thing with Sodic Machines is the core components with all of the range are identical. So there's five main core components. Linear motors, which of course Sodic are very famous for. They offer a 10 year accuracy guarantee on linear motors, which they have done. They were the first people to incorporate linear motors into their full range of wire machines. The SMC, which is the motion control of the linear motors, which is actually the clever part that moves linear motors around. There's also ceramic components, a discharge unit, which is the creation of the spark discharge, and programming and control units as well. So they're the five main core components. And actually, they're the same on the entire range of machines. Actually, the discharge units and the control system, this is already proven and established technology, so we've got no need to change any of that. The differences with this machine are in basically the construction of the machine. It's a bigger work tank, it's a 600 by 400 working area. Internal dimensions of the tank are over a metre by 750, so you can get a nice big work piece in there. USBs with this machine that are different from the previous range of machines, they've actually got a coating on the inside of the tank called Pure Coat, which is a clear resin which acts as an insulator so that what comes from the discharge unit to actually remove metal is staying inside the, uh, the proposed part. There's no leakage of electricity out through the stainless side of the tank. That's a more efficient process with this machine. Other changes they've made here, they've made some amendments to the cabling of the machine, which means everything's, uh, you get a better workflow through the machine. It's much clearer and cleaner to load work pieces in and out. Other things are, obviously, because we've got a bigger tank, the fast fill has been upgraded on this machine. It's been beefed up so that we can fill the machine quicker and obviously drain it quicker. Again, it makes everything more efficient, more reliable, uh, bigger workflow through the machine. And finally, the uh, automatic wire threading on this machine has been graded to the same standard as the higher end SL machines. Uh, so it's actually got something called a pop-up function, which means if the start hole is out of position, then we can actually search for the hole so that the wire threading process is more efficient. Chris. I'm an OEM subcontractor, I produce many parts, is this a machine for me? Yeah, this machine basically spans across all of those industries. It doesn't matter if you're doing jewellery or nuclear submarines and anything in between, automotive, aerospace. This is a machine that's cost effective. Not everybody wants super high uh, surface finishes or super high speed, so this will be a machine that will fit nicely. Obviously then you've got the support of a robust company as well with service and applications. Chris, one thing I've noticed about the range is the footprint. It's quite small in comparison to other products in the marketplace. Yeah, I and mean, that's another USP with this machine. You know, uh, obviously there's other machines out there, but they do tend to be big sprawling units, whereas this is nice and compact. Chris, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Thanks, Thanks for your time. Mark.